How is going on today? I'm here with my WWE Money in the Bank 2018 pay-per-view predictions. Of course, Money in the Bank is live on the WWE Network as well as pay-per-view tomorrow night. And overall, like I say, going to Money in the Bank, you know, you should be excited for this pay-per-view, or at least I should be excited for this pay-per-view because it's Money in the Bank is one of the most exciting pay-per-views of the year. But honestly, going to the show, I'm not all that excited, to be honest. I'm mainly just looking forward to the result of two matches. Besides that, I really don't care all that much for the show. And I feel like I said for the most part, for almost every WWE pay-per-view this year. You know, I just, I don't have any excitement to it. I don't really care for most of the matches. I just, I'm very bleh. And, you know, mainly it's because how the current product is. You know, I feel like the current product is one of its lowest points in terms of interest. I really cannot sit here and say that I really have any, you know, emotional investment or just any, you know, caring at all for any feud, any wrestler, really, even though there's tons of guys that I love watching, I'm just not involved really in any with what they're doing currently, and it's just there's nothing that piques my interest, and that's you know speaks volumes going to Money in the Bank. I feel like they really haven't done anything to spark interest. I know they're trying to build the big Ronda Rousey matchup, and you know of course they have the two Money Bank ladder matches, but I feel like you know from Raw side especially, uh, the build to this pay per view is absolutely horrendous. You know they haven't really done anything to get me excited for it. They're really relying on the uh, Money in the Bank ladder matches to really sell the pay per view as well as the Ronda Rousey match. But besides that. Just nothing really exciting going down. Like I said, the only two things I really care about are just the ending of two matches. I just I'm, I'm more interested in the result of the match than the actual match itself. So to me, that speaks volumes for itself. I don't know. I just I like I said. I just at this point, I'm very disinterested in the current product. Uh, something has to change because I really just I watch Raw and SmackDown Live, literally just watching it and not caring. And you know, I'm at the point where at the end of the show. I can't even dislike it or even enjoy it because I'm just like, I'm not paying attention. I'm not really caring what's going on. So that's my overall feelings. I mean, the card itself isn't bad. I think it's a good card. I definitely do believe this will be a good pay-per-view. They have to really, really fuck it up to be a bad pay-per-view if you ask me. It has no doubt to be a good pay-per-view, at least in my eyes. Uh, potentially great. Who knows? But um, like I said, just there's no interest. I feel like the lack of built really hurt the show as well. And, you know... The fact that it's probably going to be almost a four-hour pay-per-view doesn't help its case either. So, uh, yeah, that's my overall thoughts and feelings going to Money in the Bank. We do have ten matches scheduled for the pay-per-view. Nine of them on the main show, of course. We do have the one-hour kickoff show, which will feature the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. So, pretty upset that got added to the kickoff show. But, you know, another match, I guess, that was the one that made the most sense considering that's a match that really has no build to it. So... You know, it makes sense being on the kickoff show, but on the main show itself, we do have Seth Rollins defending Intercontinental Championship against Elias, which I'm actually excited for. That should be a good match. Um, hopefully, they go with the decision I wanted to see him go with. So, uh, I'm actually looking forward to the match. That is one of the matches I am looking forward to on this pay-per-view. Uh, we will have Carmella defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against, against Asuka. We'll be having Roman Reigns take on Jinder Mahal in a very exciting matchup right there. Uh, Daniel Bryan taking on Big Cass in a Backlash rematch. We'll be having the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, which will, be, of course, feature four superstars from Raw, four superstars from SmackDown Live. Not the best match on paper, to be perfectly honest. I know there's some strong competitors, but besides that, there really isn't anyone in this match that I really care about. Just the women's division has been so flat for a while now that it's really hard for me to even care about any women's match at this point. So it's definitely one of those cases where I just I honestly don't care. I mean, you know, of course, the winner uh, gets their respective brand's championship match. So, you know, at any time, any place they're choosing next year. So... I feel like them making the cha the briefcases Brandon only kind of takes away the suspense of a, a mysterious cashing because, you know, the Rumble winner was kind of cool to see Asuka go after another brand's championship. So I feel like it, it would have been for any of the women's titles that definitely would have add more uh, interest to the briefcases. But, you know, it's just a small thing, I guess, that they didn't want to go with that kind of takes the, the, the mystique of it away. So what can you do, you know? Uh, then we got to be getting Ronda Rousey's first ever one-on-one -on -one match on a WWE pay-per-view. Ronda Rousey, of course, challenging Nia Jax for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, I'm not really too excited for this match. I think Nia Jax is terrible, and you know, you know, the fact that Ronda Rousey is pretty much being relied on to carry her isn't exactly the best thing they should have done. So, I'm not sure what the mindset behind that was. Bobby Lashley is taking on Sami Zayn. Horrible feud. Not really caring for that match. And then, of course, we'll be getting. Uh, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, of course, the winner of Raw uh, getting a Universal Championship match of their choosing, or if they win or SmackDown Live wins, they'll be getting a uh, WWE Championship match of their choosing anytime, any place for the next year. Um, this is really interesting because almost every man in this match, besides maybe like two or three guys, have never even been in a Money in the Bank ladder match. So it's definitely refreshing. You definitely get fresh faces in the main event scene as well because almost every person in this match 
hasn't really been in the main event before. I mean, they've had short stints or maybe in and out of the main event, but none of these guys have really been a flat-out main event talent. Uh, so this is really interesting. Definitely, you know, it can elevate someone. And it can be definitely a surprise winner. And, you know, or maybe elevate people that people want to see the main event into the main event. So this way make ladder match definitely adds that element of, you know, excitement to see which superstar will get that potential push to the main event. So I'm excited for that aspect, but it should be a good match nonetheless. So that that's uh, definitely look, one to look forward to in terms of who wins the match. Then, of course, we'll be having our WWE Championship match. Shinsuke Nakamura once again challenging AJ Styles for the WWE Championship, but this time in a last man standing match. Of course, her last two matches ending in controversy. Grace or Rumble double count out, and then of course the backlash, the double count out finish when they both low blow each other. This time, hopefully we get the fed of you know winner. You know, in this match we can still get a double count out finish where both men are down. So I'm really hoping that's not the case here. I think we do need a, a clear definitive winner to either continue the feud or end it. One way or another, we definitely need a winner in this match. You know, I'm I'm more interested to see who wins this match honestly than the match itself because their matches are you know haven't truly delivered. So uh, hopefully they can deliver one here. Hopefully it's not one of those last man standing matches where they you know do three moves and do the count. Three moves, do the count. Absolutely hate those ones. Those are just absolutely boring as hell to watch. So hopefully they actually go out there, beat the shit out of each other, you know, go all the arena, and just have one hell of a WWE title match. So Nakamura Styles can't go wrong with that. And uh, yeah, that's the card rundown. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Kickoff, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. SmackDown Tag Team Champions of Bludgeon Brothers with Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. As much as I like to see Anderson and Gallows get a push in the tag team titles here, I think they're nothing more than a filler team, unfortunately. So I do expect Harper and Rowan to walk out still as SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Hopefully it's a good match. I'm not honestly sure what to expect match quality wise. Uh, I mean, maybe it'll just be a squash match with the Bludgeon Brothers. Who knows? Hopefully it's a good back and forth, you know, match. But come in result, I do expect Harper and Rowan to walk out still the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Women's Money in the Bank contract a ladder match. Lana vs. Natalia vs. Alexa Bliss vs. Charlotte Flair vs. Ember Moon vs. Becky Lynch vs. Naomi vs. Sasha Banks. Honestly, I think a Raw superstar will end up walking out of the winner here. I'd like to see Alexa Bliss win, but I think the logical pick here is Natalia. I think it's, you know, people are, a lot of people are predicting her to win and to eventually cash in, maybe turning heel on Ronda. I can see that happening, but honestly, I'm not sure who else can win this match. I'd love to see Becky Lynch win it. I think Becky Lynch probably should be the person to win it, but I don't see a SmackDown Live superstar winning, unfortunately. I think someone from Raw will end up winning it. Um, but, you know, I, yeah, I'm just going to say Natalia. You know, Natalia and Alexa Bliss being my picks, but Natalia being my main pick. Hope it's a good match, but like I said, I do think Natalia will walk out Miss Money in the Bank. Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn. I think it's fairly obvious Bobby Lashley is going to just destroy Sami Zayn here. I'd be very surprised if Sami Zayn won. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a squash match. I can honestly see uh, honestly see Bobby Lashley beating Sami Zayn in a minute. Maybe holding up for a vertical suplex for like 30 seconds and then, you know, flying back and hitting it and pinning Sami Zayn. Uh, I can very easily see that happening. But, um, you know, I'm not, so, not expecting really much of a match out of this. But, um, yeah, like I said, I think it's easily that uh, Bobby Lashley to get the win over in this match. SmackDown Women's Championship match. SmackDown Women's Champion Carmella versus Asuka. You know, I'm going to go ahead and pick Carmella. You know, there's rumors of James Ellsworth returning at Money in the Bank. Uh, maybe he returns and helps Carmella win this match. You know, he helped her win Money in the Bank last year, so maybe this year he returns and helps her retain against Asuka. Not really too sure. I think Asuka winning is very, you know, predictable. But, you know, honestly, I don't really care to see Asuka's champion right now. But it wasn't surprised if she should win. Hooker Crook, I do think Carmella will somehow walk out of this match still. the SmackDown Women's Champion. Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Um, <laughs> this match, I can really care less for. Roman Reigns has to get the win here. I'd be completely shocked if Jinder won. Even if it's a screw job finish to set up a rematch at Extreme Rules, I just don't see Jinder Mahal pinning Roman Reigns' shoulders on that. I just I just don't see it happening. This is going to be a garbage match. It's I'm not looking forward to it at all. But kind of result, I do think Roman Reigns will walk out victorious against Jinder Mahal. Intercontinental Championship match. Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins versus Elias. As much as I've been loving Seth Rollins as Intercontinental Champion, I think this is the right time to pull the trigger on Elias. So I'm going to go ahead and say Elias becomes the new Intercontinental Champion here. I think it's time for him to get that championship and go on a nice title reign. Seth Rollins, he comes with like a huge star every week, so I think it's time to kind of pull him to the main event title scene, into the Universal title scene. So I think him losing to Elias here wouldn't hurt him, and you know, it's, it benefits Elias coming out of it. So um, I am going to pick Seth, uh, Elias to become the brand new Intercontinental Champion. Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. 
I'm gonna go with Dan O'Brien here. I know Big Cass, you know, lost a backlash, and you'd think logically Big Cass get the win here, get to you know even the score. But I don't think they really have that much faith in Big Cass at this point. The way it's been booked, I think they need to end this feud here at Main Bank. I don't think there's any reason to continue it. So I think the best way to end it is for Dan O'Brien to get the win here. I can see Big Cass winning it, you know, because of Brian's injury to his knee. But like I said, I think the feud needs to end here with uh, Dan O'Brien winning it. So hopefully it's a good match. But uh, I do expect Dan O'Brien to walk out on top. Raw Women's Championship match, Raw Women's Champion Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey. To me, this match seems to be a squash match with Ronda Rousey just immediately submitting Nia Jax. That's honestly how I would do it. How this match is going to go, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be a squash. Maybe it'll be an actual match. I'm not really too sure how it's going to be, but I think the best way they can do is just Ronda Rousey just absolutely destroying Nia Jax. Maybe the winner of the Money Thing contract, if they're from Raw, cashes on Ronda mid-match or maybe you know after the match. I'm not sure, but to me, the best decision here is for Ronda Rousey to walk out the brand new Raw Women's Champion. Money in the Bank contract the ladder match. Samoa Joe versus Kevin Owens versus Bobby Roode versus Braun Strowman versus The Miz versus Rusev versus Finn Balor versus a member of the New Day. Honestly, I'm almost fine with everyone in this match winning this. Um, you know, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens, Braun, well, not really too much Braun Strowman, The Miz, Finn Balor, those four I'll definitely be okay with, but honestly, I'm gonna go with one person, and that's gonna be The Miz, I think The Miz is the best fitted person to win this contract here, um, you know, Balor is the second best guy in my opinion, so Miz and Balor would be my top two, uh, two picks, I just, I think Miz has a better chance, I think Miz has been, you know, one of the most consistent guys over the past two years and definitely needs to be catapulted back to the main event scene, and him winning the contract and eventually becoming WWE Champion is the best fit for him, and he definitely needs to get back to the main event scene, so I think Miz is the best fit for this match, like I said, Finn Balor is the second pick, I could see Samoa Joe or Kevin Owens also winning it, so those would be my four that I really, you know, would go for, but kind of result, I think the Miz will walk out once again, Mr. Money in the Bank. And then the main event, last man standing match for the WWE Championship, WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I think this feud is going to continue to extreme roles. So for the best way for that to happen is for Shinsuke Nakamura to walk out the WWE Champion. I just want to see Nakamura as champion so bad, but unfortunately, if Nakamura does win this match, I do think Nakamura will just hold it to extreme roles. I think there's a high chance that AJ just wins back the next pay-per-view. So I wouldn't expect a long title reign from Nakamura, but honestly, any title reign is better than no title reign the way I see it. So Nakamura to walk out to the WWE Champion. Hopefully it's a great match. Their ma matches have been delivering, so hopefully this one is the one to deliver. But besides that, like I said, I do think Nakamura will become the last man standing and the brand new WWE Champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed my WWE Money in the Bank 2018 paper predictions. Of course, Money in the Bank is live on the WWE Network. I'll be for you tomorrow night. Like I said, not really too excited for the show, mainly because of WWE's current product. It's really hard for me to get, you know, excited for anything they're doing even you know they give you the biggest match possible and it might i still might not be excited for it because like i said the product is so stale and just so boring i i just can't get into anything they're doing so hopefully you might think it's a good show like i said it definitely has potential to be a good show possibly great the card doesn't look bad by any means but just no excitement behind it nothing really to intrigue me or really make me want to watch the show so like i said i'm just more excited for the result of two matches and that's pretty much it for uh, my thoughts on pay-per-view. Uh, tonight, we still do have a show. We do, ha do have NXT TakeOver Chicago 2, so I'm very excited for that show. Should be a good one. Uh, Ciampa and Gargano once again in Charles Street Fight. Uh, that should be going right there. So, TakeOver Chicago tonight. Uh, you know, then, of course, we got Money in the Bank tomorrow night as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if, you got, if you guys did, please, please leave a like below. And, of course, to my review for NXT TakeOver Chicago tonight, I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video. I'm wasting all